Hi and welcome to Samarth Academy. Today we will be doing the chapter some application of trigonometry. We had done few questions in the last class. We will be continuing with the same over here. So I think we had done up to question 9. So let us continue from question 10. So what does question 10 says? Two poles of equal height are standing opposite to each other uh, on a rope which is 80 meter wide. And they are making an angle of inclination 60 degree and 30 degree from a point on the roof. So he is asking the lengths uh, of the poles which are equal in height that is AB and CD are equal. And also he is asking the distance of the point from the poles. Okay so we can see that there are two triangles. Uh, what are the triangles? We can see that there are triangle ABO and triangle CDO. So what we will do here, we can see that AB and CD are equal. So let us consider the height of the poles as X and let the distance BO be Y. So OD will be 80 minus Y. OD will be 80 minus Y. In triangle ABD, so we have a, uh, we can see that opposite side is X and adjacent side is Y. So we will be using tan. So tan 60 degree is equal to X by Y. So what is tan 60? Root 3 is equal to x by y. Therefore, x is equal to y root 3. Let's mark this as 1. In triangle CDO, uh, tan 30 degree is equal to CD, that is x by OD, which is 80 minus y. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3 equal to x by 80 minus y. So, we are trying to equate x. Therefore, x is equal to 80 minus y by root 3. So, from 1 and 2, the left hand sides are equal. Hence, the right hand sides will be equal. So, what we can say, y root 3 equal to 80 minus y by root 3. Cross multiply, you will get 3y is equal to 80 minus y. Take y that side, frame a formula for y, 4y is equal to 80, so y is equal to 80 by 4, which is nothing but 20 meters. So we got y is equal to 20 meters, the distance of the point from the pole is 20 meter. The other distance will be 80 minus y is 80 minus 20, that is 60 meters. So we found the distances 20 and 60 meter, now it is, we need to find the height of the pole. So x is equal to y root 3, therefore x is equal to 20 root 3 meters is the height of the poles. Okay, so the answers are 20, 60 and the height of the pole is 20 root 3 meters. So question, question 11. A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of a canal from a point on the other bank directly opposite to that. We can see that the angle of elevation is 60 degree. From a point 20 meter away from this, we can see that the angle of elevation is 30 degree. So find the height of the tower and the width of the canal. So what is the tower over here? AB is the tower and width of the canal. Okay. So AB the tower we need to find and the canal BC we need to find. So always what we do? When we consider two triangles, whatever is common to both the triangles, we try to equate that. I can see that AB is common to both the triangles. So, let us try equating AB. So, I can see the triangle ABC and uh, we are, you know, uh, trying to solve the questions where opposite and adjacent uh, are related. So, we will use tan here. Tan 60 degree is equal to AB by BC. We can also name it as some variable. Let AB be X and BC be Y. So root 3 is equal to X by Y. So from here what is X? X is equal to root 3 by. We are solving this by taking the same concept that we have used in the other question. So we mark this as 1. Now consider the triangle ABD. In triangle ABD tan 30 degree is equal to opposite side that is X by adjacent which is 20 plus y. Tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 is equal to x by 20 plus y. So this implies x equal to 20 plus y by root 3. So
So mark this as 2 from 1 and 2 left hand sides are equal hence right hand side will be equal. So what I can see root 3 y from 1 and 2 root 3 y is equal to 20 plus y by root 3 cross multiply 3 y is equal to 20 plus y therefore y equal to 20 by 2 which is 10. y is equal to 10 meters. So what is y? The width of the canal is 10 meters. Now we need to find the height of the tower x is equal to root 3 y therefore height of the tower x is equal to 10 root 3 meter. So these are the answers. Let's go for the next question 12. From the top of a 7 meter high building the angle of elevations of the top of a cable tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree determine the height of the tower. So this is the tower, the 7 meter high building and he is saying the angle of elevation is 60 degree and the angle of depression is 45 degree. So we can see two triangles over here. So in this first triangle what we have, uh, we will consider the triangle ABC first. Triangle ABC tan 45 equal to opposite side that is 7 by BC. Tan 45 is 1. So 7 by BC therefore BC equal to 1. Now from the diagram I can see sorry BC is equal to 7 meter. From the diagram I can see that AD and BC are equal. Hence AD is also 7 meters. Consider triangle AED. Tan 60 degree equal to opposite side that is ED by AD and we got AD is equal to 7 meter therefore ED by 7. Root 3 equal to ED by 7 therefore ED is equal to 7 root 3. Okay, what is the height of the tower ED plus CD? ED is 7 root 3 and CD is equal to AB which is 7. Therefore, height of the tower is equal to 7 root 3 plus 7. I can take 7 common over here. Root 3 plus 1. So, this is the height of the tower. For next question. Question 13. As observed from the 75 meter lighthouse. From the sea level, okay, this AB is the lighthouse. From the sea level, the angle of depressions of two ships are 30 degree and 45 degree. If the uh, angle of depressions are 30 and 45, we can take alternate angles are equal and hence this becomes 45 uh, and 30 respectively. If one ship is exactly behind the other, so he is saying uh, B, C and D are on the same line, find the distance between the two ships. So CD is asked. Consider triangle ABC. In triangle ABC tan 45 equal to AB by BC. What is tan 45? 1 equal to AB is 75 by BC. This implies BC equal to 75 meters. Okay. Now consider the other triangle. That is the triangle ABD. In triangle ABD, tan 30 degree is equal to AB, opposite side, which is 75 by, by BC plus CD. BC is again 75 here, which we found. So 75 plus CD. What is tan 30? 1 by root 3 equal to tan 30. 1 by root 3 is equal to 75 by 75 plus CD. Now we will cross multiply and then solve for CD. So 75 plus CD equal to 75 root 3. Therefore CD is equal to 75 root 3 minus 1. If I take 75 common, so 75 into root 3 minus 1. This is the length of the CD. This is the distance between two ships. This is the answer. Let's go for question 14. Question 14 says, 1.2 meter tall girl spots a balloon moving with the wind in horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meters. So this is the girl over here. 
she is 1.2 meter uh, in height so the distance is 88.2 the total distance is 88.2 and if i subtract her height so i'll get 87 the length of be will be 87 a 1.2 meter tall girl spots the balloon moving with the wind in a horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meter from the ground the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at any instant is 60 degree after some time the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degree so first the balloon is at the point a after some time the balloon is at the point b the angle of elevation was 60 degree and then the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degree now the question asked is find the distance traveled by the balloon during the interval so what is the distance traveled by the balloon ab is the distance traveled by the balloon so ab is nothing but ed so ed is r so let's consider the triangles first i can see that triangle ab uh, let's consider acd in triangle acd tan 60 equal to ad by cd now the height of the balloon from the ground level is equal that is ad is equal to cd so ad is also 87 so root 3 is equal to 87 by cd this implies cd equal to 87 by root 3 okay now i will go to the other triangle in triangle bce tan 30 degree is equal to opposite side that is be which is equal to 87 by the adjacent side which is ce so what is ce uh, cd plus ed so we found let me write over here so cd plus ed tan 30 is 1 by root 3 equal to 87 by cd plus ed so cd we found here this one which is um, 87 by root 3 plus ed we need to frame a formula for ed so this implies cross multiply 87 by root 3 plus ed equal to 83 equal to 87 root 3 minus 87 by root 3 take lcm so root 3 into root 3 is 3 87 is common 3 minus 1 is 2 87 into 2 which is 174 by root 3 by rationalizing we get we have to divide and multiply by root 3 so uh, root 3 into root 3 is 3 so 174 divided by root divided by 3 into root 3 so 3 ones are 3 fives are 15 what remains 2 remains 3 eights are so this will be 58 root 3 meters so the distance traveled by the balloon is 58 root 3 meters so let's go for 15th question question 15 a straight highway leads to the foot of the tower a man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression 30 degree and after some time it is approaching towards the tower the angle of depression becomes 60 degree the observer over here and the car is at d first and it is approaching then it comes at c after six seconds we know speed is equal to distance by time we need the distance cd so let speed is equal to s so d is equal to s into t the time uh, let uh, the time is six seconds so cd will be the time is 6 so 6 into s the distance cd is 6 into s now let us consider the triangles in triangle abc tan 60 degree is equal to ab by bc since ab is common for both the triangles we'll try to equate which becomes the easier way to solve the questions so root 3 is equal to ab by bc this implies ab is equal to bc root 3 we'll mark this as 1 now in the other triangle that is triangle abd 
tan 30 degree equal to AB by BC plus CD. BC is what? We will write it BC only. CD is 6S. So 1 by root 3 equal to AB by BC plus 6S. Now we are trying to equate AB. So we will keep AB on the right hand side. And uh, BC plus 6S will take over here. So AB is equal, let us mark this as 2. So AB is equal to AB, hence the other sides are equal. So BC root 3 equal to BC plus 6S by root 3. Cross multiply, 3BC is equal to BC plus 6S. Take BC on the other side, frame of formula, 3BC minus BC is 2BC is equal to 6S. Therefore, BC is equal to 3s. bc is equal to 3s. Hence, uh, we can see that. See, when we write bc is equal to 3s, so what was s? s was the speed because see here we wrote distance is equal to s into t. s is the speed. So the time taken by the car to reach from c to the tower b is 3 seconds. Therefore, answer is time is equal to 3 seconds. 16. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter from the base of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary. So this question is based on complementary angles. If the portion has complementary angle, this question will be included. If the complementary angles is excluded from your portions, this question will not be there. Okay. So keeping in mind that complementary uh, angles we are using over here. So this is x and 90 minus x. So what we will do? Let's consider a triangle ABC tan x is equal to AB by BC. BC is 4 meter. Let's mark this as 1. In triangle, the other triangle AB D in triangle ABD tan of 90 minus x equal to AB by BD which is 9 meters into 2. What is tan 90 minus x? It is cortex by using the complementary angles. Cortex is equal to AB by 99 meters. Okay. So, this we are marking it as 2 and now what we will do, we will multiply 1 and 2. If the light, left hand sides are multiplied, right hand sides get multiplied. Tan x into cortex. What is cortex? So, here we are marking this as 1. Cortex is the reciprocal of tan. So, it is 1 by tan x equal to AB by 4 meter from 1 into AB by 9 meter from Tan x and tan x get cancelled. So 1 is equal to AB square by 4 into 9 that is 36 meter square. Therefore AB square is equal to 36. What will be AB? Therefore AB is equal to 6 meters. The height of the tower is found as 6 meters. So this completes the chapter, Applications of Trigonometry. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.